I'm Kate Marsiglio. This is Stony Creek Farmstead in Walton, New York. This farm consists of mixed pasture livestock. So we graze sheep and cows and pigs and chickens out on grass. And it's a really important part of our farm. And then we also grow organic vegetables. And then we have a farm stay and we do educational programming. So we do children's workshops through the summer and we host families here through the six months that are really warm. Um, so we have families come and spend the night and they enjoy being here on the farm and being able to interact with the animals and see what it's like to grow vegetables in a vegetable garden and learn about where their food comes from. We came to the Catskills inspired by the landscape, um, the great community that exists here, and a desire to grow our own food and grow food for others. And then we started a small flock of chickens, we have laying hens, we have a flock of sheep, we graze 60 cows out on pasture, we grow somewhere between 10 and 20 pigs on pasture every year, and we raise a lot of meat birds as well, and occasionally Thanksgiving turkeys, and we also grow a lot of organic produce. When families come to the farm, they stay in our tents, and they are off-grid, so there's no electric in the tents. There's a lovely flush toilet, but they really spend time together, and they get to enjoy being able to just access all that the farm has to offer, whether it's the fields or the forest or the creek or a pond, um, and then also being able to interact with the animals and the gardens, and so the kids can go and collect eggs on their own and be free to do that. And A lot of the emphasis is on food, and so they're able to cook using goods and produce right from the farm whether it's just from our farm, but we also stock our store with other local goods from other area farms. So everything is really fresh and really delicious. So when we do a farm tour, we always try to give guests a real idea of how connected everything is on the farm um, and how everything works in concert with the other things. So there's a real symbiosis going on. So we usually take in our guests through to see the chicks that we raise in the barn. That gives them an opportunity to hold little chicks. And then we take them up to the garden where they get the chance to pull something out of the garden, harvest some vegetables, whether it's tomatoes or digging carrots or picking herbs. Um, we always like to have people get all of their senses involved. Um, and then we talk to them about how we raise our animals out on pasture and how that's so different from the way that most animals are being raised in the United States and worldwide. Um, and why that matters and how that changes not just the animal's quality of life, but the quality of the meat that comes from them, the quality of the ground that they live on, so we're rebuilding the soil, um, and then also the quality of the farmer's lives, the people who work with those animals. Pizza Night was an idea we had when we started hosting guests here. The families that were staying in our tents would come down and you know we would just give them all the ingredients and they would be able to create pizzas and we would work together and it's sort of grown into this community-wide event now where people come from all over and we are often serving like 100 people at pizza night where all the ingredients are from here. We make the pizza dough every week in the kitchen and then guests are able to sort of sample all of the delicious things that come from the Catskills. Our guests are always saying, like, it was the best night's sleep I ever had, or it was the best meal I ever ate, or it was the best chicken soup, and um, I credit a lot of that to this place. Mm -hmm.